Well, I guess we're ready to get started. I'll go ahead and do a little brief intro, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All righty. All right, viewers, today, or I'm Ginger Hill with Security Today, and today we have VIO, developer of Point of View Technology. Um, we have Steve Hansen, sales manager with VIO, Ryan Anthony, technical product expert with VIO, and Tanya Martin, integrated solutions manager with VIO. Today we're going to talk about their new product. Um, it's called the Stream. It's a POV camera. It's mountable and wearable. And we're going to talk about how it's practical with security applications. And then at the end, we hope you stay tuned because we have a very special presentation about wearable solution, I'm sorry, wearable surveillance trends from VIO. But first, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's get to know VIO just a little bit better. And, and I'm just going to ask if you can tell us a little bit about your company. Sure. So <clears throat> I'm Ryan Anthony. The um, VIO actually started out as a company called Viosport. Uh, when the company first uh, was founded, it started out as an action sports. There's a little feedback on the line here. Um, we started out as an action sports broadcasting company, uh, similar to uh, YouTube before you know YouTube really became popular, and. Uh, over time, when we were in that when we were in that business, we we found that customers were asking questions about uh, how we were getting the shots that we were broadcasting. More it was they were more interested in that than than the actual footage uh, itself. So we naturally migrated into making camera systems. Uh, our first camera system, the POV One, was our first self-contained, rugged. Um, standard definition video camera, um, complete with a series of mounts. Over time, we evolved um, that platform. We introduced HD, uh, a number of other features, and um, today the the camera system that we have, the POV Stream, takes all of those features that we built up over the years, and we bundled it into the smallest form factor with the most robust feature set that we've had to date. And uh, we're very excited to introduce this product onto the market um, with the API, the streaming, the uh, with, with simultaneous record, mm -hmm. all in the, the very small, compact, rugged form factor. It's um, it's a product we feel that is uh, is going to do very well uh, in the developer and integrator market. For sure. Okay, great. Um, what made y'all decide to, or what made VIO decide to even enter the um, video camera market for security? So kind of given given some of our key features, the um, the the IP67 form factor is something that that's one feature that we've carried through all of our products. Mm -hmm. um, it can sustain a drop onto concrete from nine feet. You can submerge it into water. Um, it's dust proof. And you know the the real reason that we did that. You know obviously we've had our background in action sports, but um, a lot of mil tech um, mm -hmm. private security. These cameras are going into very de demanding environments, and like a lot of the other wearable cameras, they have enclosures, they have cases that you can put over them to protect them. But you know, our philosophy has always been the base unit needs to be as rugged as possible. So, um, you know, that rugged feature, that rugged feature set combined with the high quality video and the flexible platform make it ideal for um, you know the integrated integration and security market. Um, you know the magnesium uh, housing on, on the unit is also very durable and you know mm -hmm. scratch resistant and whatnot. So um, naturally, we moved into um, we moved into a market that needed those features, uh, and uh, that's that's where we've been for the last few years, and that's where we're going to continue to go in uh, years to come. That's awesome. I know you talked a little bit about the ruggedized um, aspect of the camera, and we have one here that we've been playing with, and it's so amazing. It's so tiny, but it has that feel of being so strong, and so I think that's really cool about that, about y'all's camera. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess, how do you think you're doing, or how are you doing it better than your competition, like, as far as your, your product and that kind of thing? So it's you know, our competition, that's, it's, it's an interesting question because we, um, you know, obviously we started out, again, we started out in action sports and, and everybody's right. familiar with, with GoPro, obviously, and Contour. And for a couple of years, they, they were in the same space that we were. And, um, you know, we realized that there was a void 
in you know the commercial industrial the the mill tech markets so when we decided to move into that space you know we looked at all of the camera companies that were that were active mm -hmm. and there there really weren't many so okay. you know and definitely there weren't many with the same feature set at the price point that that we were that we were launching at so um, you know, even to this day, there's 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 a number of companies that are there, but feature for feature, uh, they they don't quite line up with our product. So, this is an emerging category. I mean, it's it's become very popular in, in in recent years, especially on the consumer side. But using these cameras as a tool, uh, it's it's fairly new and specific in the security market, security and surveillance. It's it, it's at the very beginning stages. Um, uh, uh, very beginning stages of seeing these products enter into those systems. And along with some of those features that Ryan mentioned, you know, VIO is is one of the few that has that offers that type of form factor, the ruggedness, um, along with an open API, making it very easy for integration. Yeah. yeah and I'll that just add. I'll just add as well too that you know one of the one of the key attributes of this is that the camera itself can can play inside of a lot of uh, uh, video management tools that exist. So if there's a video management solution that exists in an environment, whether it's a school or a, a, a municipal building of some kind, this wearable solution can be integrated right inside of that um, management solution and become a part of that system seamlessly. Mm -hmm. Um, to, to give that, uh, maybe it's on a, on a person, a security guard, and there's just a different angle um, that uh, that you know, first person view is going to give that a, a mounted uh, camera isn't going to give you. And mm -hmm. the fact that this is ruggedized and can uh, immediately go into those tough environments and play nice with, uh, um, with those video management tools that are out there, it's a really big advantage that we have and really something that sets us apart. Awesome. That's very good. Um, speaking about you know the software, do you have proprietary software at all for any for like an industry such as law enforcement or education or did y'all not write any software? Well, go ahead, Ryan. So so the way that we designed the camera with the um, with the API, mm -hmm. our thinking was you know this this comes from this comes from many years of working with government agencies. Uh, every everyone has their own proprietary systems and they have different needs. So our thinking was with this product is we're going to make it as flexible as possible so these integrators um, can build it into their own system. You know, rather than ha having to you know, field a bunch of engineering requests and, and kind of make that a barrier to bringing the product in. That really is you know, kind of speaking again to the key features. That API and you know, the design and the flexibility of this camera system is really it is really a unique, unique thing about the DIO stream. Awesome. Um, well, we've talked on some of the characteristics. Is there anything else that we need to highlight about the camera? I think in the aspect of the you know the form that we're in it and having the wearable surveillance, you know, just the key the key message is security cameras have in the have historically always been mounted. And now we're able to take security, you know, and make it make it a mo mobile video, where right. we can that that first person view, and and share that with those that are you know that are applicable. So the, you know, another another feature that's worth that's worth mentioning is the um, the wireless streaming. Right. The camera streams wirelessly over RTSP, um, which which is fairly unique, and. While streaming, it can also record onto the SD card on the unit. Very nice. So what that means is you can have, let's just say, in a in a SWAT situation, you have it on um, you have it on an officer going into a building. He can stream that video back to a central command center, and um, also record it onto the unit. So after the incident um, has ended, they can go back and review in a different resolution. Um, mm -hmm you know, for after action reporting. Very nice. Okay. Well, taking all these characteristics into consideration in the stream, how do you think it's going to enhance our security industry as a whole? Well, security, I mean, like, like Steve had mentioned earlier, um, most security systems are fixed. You have cameras that are in very specific spots and buildings. You know, a lot of them have pan, tilt, zoom, low light capabilities. Right. But one thing that, that, that 
most security systems don't have is a, a, a video component that's mobile. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a, let's just say you're in a hospital, you know, moving around a hospital, um, and say you have a hostel within the hospital, right. the only way you're going to see that person is if they walk by a camera. Well, if you have a camera mounted on someone who is moving, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's one angle that you're that you just can't get from a from your typical like standard security system. So it's mo it's mo it's a mobile surveillance camera solution. Exactly. I can definitely see how it can be used in the education field as well, you know, with security and education and that kind of thing. So, um, let's see. So, have you have you received any good feedback from the security industry about the stream, or has it been in you know any um, pilot programs with law enforcement or anything like that? I can speak. I can speak a little a little bit. We um, and then sorry, Ryan. <laughs> good. Uh, we uh, uh, we did attend uh, ASIS um, mm -hmm. recently and had an opportunity to just talk about the camera, um, you know, with good. folks and uh, we we were met with uh, you know very good um, at least reviews and reception about the the camera itself and um, you know were had, had some good nice strong feelings about um, this being a solution that could play inside again of those of those management tools video management tools that I talked about earlier. I think that was one of the things for me that. Um, you know, as I've learned more and more about this, you know, as we've learned yeah. about the camera and are learning about new markets and, and you know, who the players are, that yeah. was something for me that really opened my eyes to say this is really really a big deal and mm -hmm. there's these huge players that um, offer these great systems and it was great to hear that reception say, hey, yes, this, this is going to work for us and um, it's open source and, you know, we really, uh, that's something that we really think is important. Okay, and sure. uh, so we definitely have heard some really good, um, nice, strong things about this feedback-wise about the camera. So very good. That's awesome. Ryan, were you going to say add to that or? Yeah, we have um, we have a couple integrations right now that are in the works um, with some fairly large um, surveillance security <laughs> um, solutions that you know we, we can't technically talk about them. But good save, but, good save. But it, but it really. Um, you know, it's it, it it's stuff that a lot of these opportunities, a lot of these integrations take time, and and, and they're they're complicated. And you know, we are the experts when it comes to the camera, but we are not the experts when it comes to these full scale security solution suites. And um, you know, we're we're happy to provide whatever support we can in the way of uh, technical expertise in the camera and the way it works and how it could potentially integrate and stream. But um, yeah, there's a it's it's a fairly complex situation. We rely on the experts, you know, many of which are probably attending this call. So, <laughs> and I'll just I'll just add one more thing too, just as far as system attributes or you know our ability to to integrate um, you know into a system or a solution. Mm -hmm. It you know because this is a U.S. made product, um, you know, right here in, in Minnesota, we have the ability to. Um, change uh, or, or essentially develop the product at the board level for someone. So rather than the form factor that we offer the, the product in that you can see and touch, right. we also have the ability to, to change that for someone if they have a need um, or a, a system that they want to de design around. We mm -hmm. can we can actually offer them the, this product at the board level and then they can design their own enclosure around it. So if there's another solution that they have mm -hmm. that our form factor currently just doesn't give them because it maybe isn't quite right or maybe it's going to go inside of a vest. Or something like oh, that. Yeah. Um, you know, we could we could do that for someone, and so that's been another um, big big uh, value and asset that we have um, to, to a security provider. That's very awesome. Very awesome. So I guess kind of to wrap up just a little bit, what do you think the future holds for BIO and Stream? Well, we're gonna we're gonna continue to integrate this thing into, um, you know, robots. Drones, armored vehicles, you know, you, know, you, you name it. And, mm -hmm. and you know, this this year is really exciting. We've got some really um, some great partnerships that we've built up over the years. And um, you know, with our with our previous camera systems, we didn't have a lot of flexibility to do you know creative things from a software standpoint. But you know, with the open API, the the, the streaming, the form factor. And a lot of you know, kind of the new technologies coming out of the market, the advancements with 4G LTE, and a lot of the wireless stuff that's that's happening. It's a it's a really exciting time to have this camera system, and 
Um, you're going to see some really uh, some, some great press come from the IO, the IO here uh, towards the end of Q1, early Q2. Nice, nice. Yeah, we were we were talking yesterday, the, the three of us too, and, and kind of asked that same question. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I think Tanya mentioned this yesterday in that because we aren't just a one shape fits all, kind of right, like I right. mentioned earlier as well. I think that's really where our, where our future is going to be as we move forward and grow forward is the ability for us to, to move and change you know, with and for our customers, whoever they may be, is going to really allow us to do some, some neat things that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do if we weren't able to offer that as a, as a solution for people. And, uh, and what we've seen in the, the action sport uh, industry really is just in its infancy at, at the enterprise level, so we look forward to being a part of that as well. That's awesome. Yeah, I was going to say there's some really cool user-generated videos that you all have on your website at VIO dash pov.com and they were really fascinating of race cars and ski jumping and snowboarding so that's the fun side of it I think yeah, yeah. sure so, okay cool well viewers um, I'm gonna open the floor now for any questions that you may have um, we just had one come in um, is there a particular vertical that would deploy this solution like schools hospitals government or retail yes <laughs> I think that means all of the above. Yes, all that. <laughs> so, so all, I would say all of those verticals. There's um, there's opportunities with, within all of those verticals, and that's a it's a tough question to answer because we you know we just launched this product. You know it's it's a very it's a very flexible product, and you know again I I, I think we're going to even be surprised with what use cases we see. You know that that involve this product. So, you know, again, your security, your security uh, your developers, your security integrators, your um, you know auto manufacturers, boat manufacturers, um, telcos, medical. Sky sky's the limit, really. And yeah. you know, it, it's our it's not our strategy to target any one particular vertical because we have opportunities to, to build this out in, in in pretty much any vertical that exists. We're looking for people that that are going to get creative with the technology and and, uh, and 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 use it. Awesome, sounds good. All right, guys, any more questions from our viewers? I don't see any more popping in just yet. We'll give them a couple seconds. All right, well, guys, thank y'all so much for for telling me you know all the details about the camera and our viewers and everything. I want to turn the floor over now to y'all. Um, I'm anxious to hear about these wearable surveillance trends. So, whenever y'all are ready, y'all can take over. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll just kind of bounce bounce around a little bit. I think and um, kind of feed off of one another. Um, kind of like I was mentioning earlier, one of the things that we've really seen, and I'm sure that if if you're alive, you're you're definitely know you know that that video is everywhere and uh, it's becoming a part of our lives more and more every day and. And we know that um, you know video solutions are definitely increasingly prevalent among security uh, professionals and and pretty much everyone today. Um, there's just a ton of agencies that are deploying additional cameras into the into the field, mm -hmm. um, you know, on a seemingly a daily basis. And so, with that being said, we just want to be able to make folks aware um, of our solution as as one that can definitely seamlessly integrate into those solutions that are out there. Um, you know, police and local law enforcement um, are deploying these systems um, all the time, like I mentioned. Um, the open source platform that we have is really going to open uh, or has opened up um, a lot of doors for these types of trends to really become, um, I, I guess, more mainstream. You know, the fact that, you know, IP, IP sharing and all that stuff that has become such a part of our lives and these, uh, these video trends that are... Um, Again, a part of a part of our daily lives now are, are really making this uh, um, really important for people. So, um, in terms of what the what the benefits are, Ryan, you can chime in too if you if you you know want to wrap a little bit as well. But um, the port of, the portability of the camera and the and the visibility of, of these uh, cameras is also huge. Um, we know that, uh, for instance, if a police officer uh, is wearing a camera. Mm -hmm. We know that there's a level of accountability that goes with that. So um, there's increased trust, um, there's increased awareness, uh, and safety for both the officer um, and the public when, when the uh, system like this is worn. So um, again, the benefits are, are pretty much endless to, to cameras like this. 
Good deal. Yeah. Good deal. You look at you look on the consumer side. Um, this is probably what most people are familiar with. You, it started with text, and then it was pictures, and then it's video. You know, the next logical progression is is live streaming video. And companies like UStream and Livestream are 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 starting to do some really great stuff with live streaming broadcast. Mm -hmm. We we look at that live streaming technology as a tool for enterprise. So we, you know, obviously Skype is is commonly used. There's Microsoft Link, which is kind of mm -hmm. the enterprise version of Skype. Um, you know, Cisco's telepresence system. The li the live streaming video as a tool is really, I think, is going to be the biggest. It's what's going to bring about the biggest change in the way that in the way that we do business. Right. Um, you're you're able to connect um, people in real time that can better inform decision making in all in all corners of the globe if the network infrastructure exists. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I said earlier, we we've seen you know Verizon and AT and T with their 4G LTE. Right. Brought mm -hmm. about some incredible technology mm -hmm. with the advancements in in, uh, in satellite communication and broadband and fiber. This really is, you know, the, I think the market is really it's 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 ripe right now for uh, streaming video solutions, and we're we're just we're going to see it become a part of our everyday life here very soon. Awesome. All right, great. Um, I actually had some other questions pop up while you guys were talking. Um, one of them was, do you offer day or night in thermal? That's a good. That, that's a good question. So, we've 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 fielded that request quite a few times. <laughs> thermal. Um, we'll start with thermal. Thermal is um, thermal is, is is a very. It's a technically challenging. Um, it's a technically challenging. Uh, piece to incorporate into this kind of uh, form factor. I mean, mm -hmm. Our camera is very small, it's compact, and yes it will work with some of the thermal products out there, but it's um, it's not something that we've really focused on. You know, it's kind of like what I mentioned earlier with we, we rely on the integrators and the, you know, the developers to, to figure out how to incorporate our product into their suite. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with, with something like thermal. You know, we don't do it today. Not to say that we won't do it in the future, but mm -hmm. um, but there there definitely is a need for it. Awesome. You know, okay. The night the, the night, um, night vision, the, uh, the 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 extremely low light. We do have a two megapixel sensor in this camera, which really is you know it's optimized for video. It's 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 a large pixel size, so it, it does mm -hmm. you know it can take in a considerable amount of light. Um, it does well in low light, but it is not night vision. But the camera will work with some of the night vision um, uh, monoculars or night vision goggles. It'll it'll pull the video through. It's it's uh, it's something that we've done in the past, but you know again that's a feature that we could potentially look at in the future. Awesome. Okay, great. A um, couple more. It said uh, one of them was talking about bandwidth um, and streaming. 